Hi YouTubers. Um, yeah, I figured uh, this was something important to do this video today. Uh, and now, you know, in these times, what's going on in the world with uh, with COVID-19, uh, I wanted to talk about a little bit about uh, cleaning your instrument. You know, uh, which you know, if you don't regularly do it, you know, if you haven't regularly done it until now. Um, now is really a very good reason to really start this habit and continue on with this habit even um, after um, this uh, pand pandemic is, is over. Now, um, when it talks about the importance of uh, cleaning out your instruments uh, after you're playing and, th and, and things, uh, things like that, many um, of us instrumentalists don't do that yeah at least that's why that's why uh, that's what I've seen and that's also it's been my habit for a while too and um oftentimes especially with saxophonists um, uh, many of us have the habit of after we finish playing that we keep the reed on the mouthpiece you know and possibly on the possibly on the neck still and just put it in the bell of our instrument or if we just do to, to detach the mouthpiece uh, from the neck fine and good, but we still have the reed on it and the thing is, you know, just under um, Normal situations or regular situations, you know, even after we've had a cold sometimes uh, Maybe you may not think about, you know, I mean maybe you've played But then you don't think about the possible bacteria that you spread on your reeds and, your, and on your mouthpiece while you were sick and then um, after you were actually well again you may have still played the same mouthpiece and reed as you did when you were sick you know um, and maybe not given much thought about it oftentimes I haven't gotten uh, haven't thought much about it and luckily haven't gotten sick again but still uh, now is a good time to talk about uh, this because also even um, even if it's not COVID-19 uh, there is a illness called that's usually commonly called saxophone lung, which is a a, a type of uh, pneumonia that comes uh, that actually happens to um, many woodwind players for not properly cleaning their instrument, you know. And this course doesn't happen immediately, but this happens over many many years. Uh, I'm putting a link um, uh, under this video to a Wikipedia um, uh, article which you can just read uh, a little bit about, about that. But anyway, what I want to uh, talk about uh, is first of all is uh, cleaning your mouthpieces here. Um, I just have my alto and my clarinet mouthpiece here in a glass of exactly a mixture of water and Listerine, you know, mouthwash, you know, uh, Listerine, you know, it's, you know, at least it tastes, uh, you know, it doesn't taste too bad. You get, you know, you get a, um, one that you, you actually could deal with. Whatever you do, please do not use rubbing alcohol. That's not good. That will actually make you sick, you know. But Listerine, I've also um, seen um, another YouTube video where uh, someone, uh, a young woman saxophonist, she uses vodka. You know, she puts her reeds in in a jar of vodka, and she carry and she carries her reeds in this little uh, jar when she goes to the gig. So she takes her reeds off her mouthpiece after playing, and she puts in a, a, a glass, you know, a vodka. You know, and of course you could use rum, whatever you you know feel like. Just don't use any type of alcohol that's meant to be used externally. This is this should be clear, actually. But um, I think some things just should be said so that it really is clear. Of course, um, what you could also do with your reeds to clean them, I have here also a similar mixture of water and Listerine in the glass here, a little, jar, yeah, little glass here. And I put all my reeds in there to disinfect them, you know. And um, we often, in college, we often call that making reed soup, you know as a joke but of course I some people um, there I mean there is a product called the reed well where people actually leave their reeds in um, a liquid you know um, just like you know carrying this jar now of course um, my concerns would be about um, 
uh, if the reeds get too waterlogged by sitting in water just so, so long, if that's not really so great for the reeds and stuff like that, uh, so that you'll be carrying it around all the time in a liquid. I think um, one would have to experiment with that, you know, to see, I mean, how much of a difference it really makes, uh, really makes to you. But um, at least one can, um, one can uh, disinfect their reeds, uh, let them sit in there for, for a few minutes, you know, uh, dry them off, let them dry them, put them back in your reed case, you know, and, or, or whatever case you have that they're lying flat uh, again, and, um, and then carry on. And of course, um, uh, among those things, what you could also do, of course, I always recommend not only just wiping out your instrument, you know, with your cloth, whatever you're using for your instrument, um, whether it's uh, for a saxophone, clarinet, flute, whatever. I also recommend at least once a week you use a, a, a spray disinfectant. You know, what I do here, I, you know, spray my cloth. With that, just one, you know, it doesn't have to be wet, you know, just once, and I whisk it through the instrument once or twice, and that'll uh, get rid of whatever um, bacteria that's still inside the instrument, and it at the same time, it won't damage your pads or anything like that, it won't cause them to dry out if they were, or, or anything that's funny, but in any case, it will get rid of some extra fungus that can and eventually will develop uh, if you don't regularly uh, um, whisk out your instrument. So, in any case, um, that's just my tips um, uh, or my you know my advice to think about you know um, during this uh, lockdown. Huh? So, um, in case you get bored, hey, why don't you spend time cleaning your instruments and you know, and do that at least, you know, once a week, every week, or, you know, after every time you're playing, however you feel comfortable, but make it a habit, so then even after everything's um, over, you know, that we could actually live our normal lives again, that possibly that this habit you, you, you will keep, and also with that, help you to stay healthy uh, and, and not get ill many, many years later. And probably another time I will talk about on another video as far as, um, yeah, neck straps and other types of holsters. Um, because, again, you're carrying uh, an instrument that um, even though might be, you know, a lighter weight like a soprano or, or alto, which is not particularly heavy, depending on what brand you're playing. Some are heavier than others, depending on what, what metals are being used up to baritone, and um, carrying a um, saxophone around your neck for many, many years does not do the vertebrae in your neck any favors whatsoever. But uh, we'll talk about that in another video. So please like, comment, subscribe, and press that you know, uh, notification button so that you'll get uh, notified by my next videos. So. Take care, stay safe, stay healthy.